Good morning, goat lovers. It is Sunday, February 23rd, a high of 57 degrees today we're expected, which is almost, you know, winter for here. Yesterday, Cammy had no ligaments when we came outside, and Crystal was outside with her all day long, and uh, last night her labor stopped. This morning, the ligaments are back, and that's probably not good. That's only ever happened one other time before, and we lost that doe and two of her babies and we're able to save one so let's hope for a better outcome on that so this morning cammy is not in labor she has her ligaments and so do all the other ones with the exception of mayo mayo has no ligaments and she's in labor crystal's in the house getting ready she was up basically all night sitting out here with cammy waiting on something that never happened good morning elsa how are you are you going to have babies today And there's Cammy. Good morning, Cammy. Good morning, Mayo. She's coming. She's getting ready. Good morning, Lily. Lily, Lily. Lily, Lily. Hey, May. Wanna go lay by the bay? Make things out of clay? I just may. Hi, Don. All right, in this pen, the next ones that were due are Sky, Lacey, and up there is Maddie. So we separated them just in case something happened from the rest of them that are late or possibly never going to give birth like Anna here. And there we have old Little Bitter. And there's Abilene. And there's Cassie, the electrician and shilly shilly and hiding right there is Elsa's new twin Val Val has been in here with these goats with all of them really but been in here with these goats for three days or so now and these goats in these two pens have not been fed yet and, uh, and the reason for that is, is I'm gonna let them out to graze the ground is all wet and it is a perfect day for Val to learn two things the electric fence is hot and the electric fence hurts and over here in the the crazy corner these five uh, you know they've been doing a little better they they almost they don't run normally when I walk by but I got camera boy Darren here with me Yay! and they're kind of scared of him I guess but so they're just still in there. Uh, Roxy eats out of your hand and the other ones watch her do it. So here's Roxy, she might even let me let me touch her here. Hey girl, hey, hey girl. See, that's improvement. Hi, can you say hi to the camera? Hi. You wanna say hi? Me llamo Roxy. I'm from Phoenix. It's cold here. Hi. Oh, and then look at that one there. I believe that's Roxy's daughter, the one that needs the name, and she was almost curious. Oh, oh, you want to come? Hi. Say hi. Hi. No, not yet. And as far as gold dust here, which we haven't picked a name for, but I have been calling her Goldie. So as far as Goldie here, it's working. As soon as I put her in here, later that night, these weathers want to bite you. As soon as I put her in here that night, uh, I noticed it, a change within a few hours. As I was walking around the yard, she was yelling at me to come get her out of here. And there's little Miss Lodi. Hi, Lodi. She wanted me to get her out. So the, the big development there is she was yelling at me. She wanted my help rather than being afraid of me, and that's a good thing. If you can see her or not. Last night we milked her on the stand, and it was the first night we got her out, milked her, and put her back without her screaming bloody murder. So those are developments. It's working. Our chickens are on a on a kale diet. 
Yeah. And we're starting to get eggs again. Most We're getting like two white ones a day and one brown one. The white ones come from these guys, the leghorns. And the brown ones come from these barred rocks or those buff orpingtons. Nothing from the Easter eggers. So since I finally have this these birthing stalls set up, I'm really excited about that. It always feels like I'm behind, but the reality is, is compared to last year or the year before, when we moved here, we had absolutely nothing. And uh, every year we get a little more ahead. So we're still behind in the grand scheme of things, but we're far more prepared this year than we were last year, and that's awesome. So Mayo is an active labor, like I mentioned and she is going to stay in her stall today and I'm going to feed her but with this new design we've moved the gate from the end here to there and we are going to be able to let these five other preggers out to go graze. My wife has had four kids and I learned a thing or two throughout those four pregnancies if you want to have those babies you need to walk around so my wife has the next couple of days off of work and we would like all these goats over here to have their baby. So Mayo's in labor and I'm going to leave her in her stall today and she's going to get some food and my wife will be copter momming over her before we know it. But the other five are going to go out to graze with these three and the other ones and Val's going to learn the fence but we're going to get them out there walking around and see if we can't uh, kick start some labor. Elsa, would you like to come out and eat? There you go, go graze, girl. Big girl. Cammy, would you like to go stimulate some labor? There you go. You goat, girl. Hey, Willie. You like to go graze for a while? Oh, oh, oh. I was afraid that would happen. Come on. Come on, girls. Give me. Lily's like, this is my stall. Right. Come on, Lily. All right. May, would you like to come play? Huh? All right, May wants out. May's not a fan of quarantine. All right, Don, do you like to go get some exercise? All right. Here's all the pregos checking out the new walkway. Not sure what's going on. Darren's trying to scare Val out of there. See if I can help. All right, we shoot Val out of there. She's nervous. I'm gonna see if I can get the whole herd to follow me up, and hopefully she will too. Somewhere along the way, she'll touch that fence, and it's really wet, and hopefully she doesn't break it. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Oh, she went back in. Doggone it. A couple years ago, I don't know if it's been that long, but a while back we saw an episode of Art and Bree. She was out there mowing the yard, and I think she had the baby right after that. This is kind of the, the same idea. These girls haven't been out for a couple of days with everything that's been going on. All you girls have missed each other and your yuccas, huh? Yeah. Apparently, Sky's head really got itchy. And honest, too. They're just. Missed the old scratching post. The girls aren't supposed to be following me. I was hoping to sneak down here and clean some goat pens while they're grazing, but it's not working. They're all. They all follow me everywhere. We're using this to move our cows out of here. All right, back in, Darren.
moo. They've been separated that for two nights. They have to fight each other again. Crazy goats. All right, well, I feel a lot better. I was up all night, I'm super tired. But these girls here need to get some walking going so they start having their babies. So I'm gonna take them up, see if I can't get them to graze, but we also got Val in here who's not leaving the little pen. Not something she's very familiar with at all. Um, so I'm gonna try to get her out there too and see how that goes. All right, well, I got this pretty girl. I'm gonna try to lead her up there. I'm not gonna let go of her. She doesn't walk very well. Let's see. wait for him. This girl doesn't know how to graze, but she's a little scared. And the other girls aren't coming. It's kind of backfiring. Here they come. Oh, they're coming. Eat. See, they're up here. Alright, I'm gonna let her go, see what she does. He doesn't know yet, obviously. You sniffing around? You want some food? Well, she got zapped and didn't jump through it and didn't break the fence, so success for round one. Scared her enough, she ran all the way back to her pen, probably under there hiding, but it's a success. <laughs> so I'm out here in the stall with Mayo. Her liquor is really going to town. She's getting it ready. And luckily, I'm pretty, she's getting pretty close actually. She's progressing quite quickly now. So, which is a good thing after yesterday with the whole ordeal with Cammie. Um, yeah, that was, that's not fun when that happens. It's happened one other time, but we came out and in the morning it was obvious she didn't have ligaments. You know, I, I feel, I search really well. They can hide sometimes like May. You know, she's, she's hiding hers. There's been a couple times I've felt and thought, ooh, and then, oh, there they are. But um, anyway, came outside. She was definitely in labor. She had, throughout the day, shown signs, you know, having mild contractions, posting the legs, getting butt high, pushing her head up against the fence, you know, uncomfortable, up and down and up and down. But all very mild, very early stages, and that was obvious. And then right around feeding time, uh, the evening feeding it just all kind of ceased she just stopped acting like she was in labor anymore um, but whatever I thought well she's just hungry and whatever um, continued to fill her ligaments after that like well, what in the world because it did just stop and she did not have ligaments so I was like well this is gonna be a light late night you know and didn't think too much of it either because her first kidding went well beyond the 12 hours because in theory after 12 hours of losing the ligaments they'll have babies but you know not always the case so I didn't think much of it in that manner either and then around 9 or 10 o'clock still no ligaments not showing any signs whatsoever that she was in labor or sh signs of labor other than the ligaments being gone and I was just like, dang it. So anyway, stayed out there pretty late with her. And then finally was like, well, I'm going to go lay down. And then just checked her multiple times throughout the night. No ligaments. 
um, get up this morning for the morning check and feed and all that good stuff and found them in like a half a second clear as day right there were her ligaments so uh, so and it was a little weird too that she hadn't backed up when she typically does but again you can't always gauge that kind of thing because every labor is different um, even for the same goat so again didn't think too much of that either but here we are she absolutely has ligaments she's absolutely not in labor and it did happen one other time to this really awesome doe that we had Rue uh, I'm sorry Roan her daughter was Rue and she just she didn't make it so she had a really bad labor and we were only able to save one doe and her name was Rue who we also lost which was awful 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 um, but anyway that whole thing that's over with still now technically today is Cammie's birthday Cammie's due date I'm sorry but ugh, just have to keep, continue to keep an eye but Mayo for sure is in labor and she is showing the normal progressing of labor and contractions and everything so we're gonna have babies from this girl for sure here soon I'm thinking maybe even in another couple hours what do you think So I will lay down the straw here in a little bit. I'm just trying to get this wet dirt dried out a little bit more. And it's definitely colder today than yesterday. It feels much colder today than yesterday, which was not supposed to be the case. But that's okay. It's not raining on us, right? How much longer you think you got? See, there's your liquor. Oh, you ready for that to go down, are you? Yes, yeah, she is. She's like, I'll spread it She's myself. <laughs> Girl, we were waiting. We're gonna let it dry out a little. You wanna just... No, well, she's all right. If she does it, she's fine. It's keeping her busy. Huh, girl? Licky, licky. No. Okay. Should I hold a salt lick? No, she's not. Oh. Sweet baby. Whoa. Go ahead and lay down. She thinks she needs to clean you up first. Mayo, you poor baby. Ooh, don't eat me. <laughs> the occasional nibble that hurts really bad. <laughs> She's still just like <laughs> silly go. Um, so for those of you who don't know the story of Mayo. She actually was a, well, she's a daughter out of May, and so a couple years ago, a couple kiddings ago, her brother came out perfectly fine, and this girl, May, just kept pushing, 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 and I knew something was wrong, so I had to actually go in and retrieve the little girl, and she was, she had her neck crooked back, so she couldn't come out of the canal. And when I finally got her out, I did not think she, I'm pretty sure she was not alive. Like, she was just limp, kind of just nothing. No breathing, no moving, no nothing. Um, so I just cleaned her up and, you know, really good. Just kept rubbing her really super hard and and got all the mucus off of her and stuff. Finally, she, she gave a little choke. And so just kept rubbing, rubbing, rubbing her super, 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 super hard. And finally, she she came back. So... She was our little miracle. We did not think she was going to make it. It was very scary there for a little bit, but she did. No, she's really going crazy. Mayo. Are we that close? <laughs> Watch. Watch, move your hand. <laughs> you are silly. He's clean. <laughs> He's just like, no. Well, this is a thing. I mean, let's get the <laughs> liquors ready, but this is excessive, mayo. You can have to hey. save some of those tongue muscles for the baby. Right. Hey, you're gonna hurt yourself. I mean, get yourself some lockjaw. <laughs> Not the camera. <laughs> Not the camera. 
You silly. Oh, there's oh. the yawns. Something like that. Oh. Contractions are getting pretty close. They seem to be getting pretty high. Mail, the wood? Let me get you a salt lick. You silly girl. She's got one over there. She won't go. She like she wants to leave. You silly. Contractions are getting really hard. She's got her leg kicked out. She almost acted like she was about to push, but she didn't. We're getting there, huh, girl? You'll see them up and down and up and down. Sometimes they'll do a bubble first and then the kid. In most cases, that's how it goes, but not always. But you do usually see slime first. I'm thinking this girl's got two in there. Or girl can't get comfortable. That's a hard one, isn't it? That's a hard one, girl. They are like right on top of each other now. It's all right. Just the wind. That's a really hard one. Our tail's going back down. But how they get my legs are real posty. There's a bubble. Good girl. I was telling you guys, sometimes you see the bubble present itself first, and then the kid will be right after it. And she did not have slime first. No slime at all. I don't usually see that. I was not prepared for her to push out that bubble right this second. Got another push on you, baby. Good girl, good girl. Good job, girl. 
Jeez Louise, little blue-eyed boy. He's pulled. He's pulled and blue-eyed. He's a little buckskin. Look at ya. You're a big little boy. Big little? Big little boy. Big little boy. With one of your feet back, you little punk. Little punk. Alright, good girl. Good girl. Hi. Well, hello. First kid in 2020. But you were supposed to be a girl. You're super pretty though. <laughs> Good job, baby. Good job. So I think you got more in there. I think one more. What do you think? I think just give you a rest for a second, huh? He's cute! That was scary. <sighs> He's already trying to get up. Oh yeah, she's got another one in there for sure. He's pretty. You are pretty. Yes. Off. <laughs> you are something. Well, welcome to the world, little mister. Is this one a girl, Mayo? The next one a girl? And he's strong, huh, Mayo? He is just as chill as can be. He's like, what's up? He is beautiful. He's a dark buckskin, isn't he, Mayo? Not like you. He's your opposite. He is cute. <laughs> He's quiet for a boy. I got made a peep. Oh, oh. It's been five minutes up on his feet all tough. I'm like, Mom! <laughs> right there. Oh, he's got it almost. Almost. Oh, oh he's chugging. Starving to death. Good job. Almost. There he goes, all by himself. All right, let's get that girl. He's quite the distraction. Oh, I see a face. I see a hoof. <coughs> good girl. Come on. Good 
Good job, Mama. Ah. Oh. There you go. You good? Come here, Mama. Go hide and pull. That's a solid sham mosaic. You just did a little mate. A blue eyed and pulled me. Huh. Good job, girl. You're done. Good job. He's acting like he's two days old. <laughs> right. What's so. good? Oh, how pretty. Good job, Mama. So Mayo did a thing. This here, I'm gonna nickname him Manly. He's blue-eyed and polled. For those of you who don't know what polled is, it's naturally hornless, so it's pretty sought after. Nobody really likes just budding. Aren't you? You're so pretty. And this girl, blue-eyed and polled. And she is a chamose. That's what it's called. And she is a solid chamose at that. Blue eyed and pulled. Oh my goodness, that tickles. And she's mine. And I think we'll call her Maybelline. She's beautiful. So all you guys know I've really, really, really wanted a doe ever since her kid, male's kids last year. They're just the whitest little things and they're beautiful. From her and Everest make awesome kids, so. And the fact that she was blue-eyed and pulled and a chamose, solid chamose. I love her. She's so pretty. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. What do you think? So, awesome. First kidding went perfect. Uh, she did very well. You guys, of course, will show you the actual, <clears throat> the actual labor um, in a different video. But I'm going to end this video on a very happy note. Very happy today. Say bye. All right, guys, so Mayo had her babies today, earlier, and now when we put Elsa back up, apparently the walking helped her. Elsa, I don't need... Okay, sweet girl. But anyway, apparently the walking helped her. So, she's having babies tonight. 